Hi, today we are going to continue the soft part B of the question where we need to draw a graph with loops and multiple edges with the given degrees of vertices based on the question. If you missed out the solution for part A, check it out in my caption below in this video to get the link of the videos for the basic and the solution for part A of this question. Before we start drawing the graph, there's one important thing about multiple edges that I would like to go through first. So let's say we have two vertices. We name it X and Y and a pair of multiple edges connecting to it. And now we find a degree of vertex. DY is actually 2 and DX is 2 as well. So if you try to remove the multiple edges, it's in a pair. So when we remove it, we're left with two isolated vertices X and Y. And now dy is 0, dx is 0 because both of these are isolated vertex. Okay, so now we can see that a pair of multiple edges is actually contributing to 4 degrees of vertices. So if we add a pair of multiple edges, we need to add 4 degrees of vertices. And if we remove it, we need to minus a total of 4 degrees of vertices. So we are going to use this fact to solve our question later. So let's start by writing the set of D, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. This is a set. And then we label it with A, B, C, D, E, and F. So now we use this fact that we have to remove a pair of multiple edges. So when we remove the multiple edges, we have to minus a total of 4 from both of the vertices. So let's say we choose E and F. We have to minus 2 here and a minus 2 here. So a total of 4 degrees of vertices. And then we write B prime goes to 1, 1, 2, 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. 8 minus 2 is 6. So now we know here there's a pair of multiple edges. So later when we reverse the process, we are going to add this multiple edges back. Okay, so the next thing is we need the loop. Now we have the multiple edges and we need the loop. So based on the last video, a loop is actually contributing to two of the degree of vertices. So let's say we are having a loop here. So I can just minus 2. So 6 minus 2, we get 4. And now, there's a loop here. And then we can start repeating the process again by removing the vertex F. When we remove the vertex F, we have to remove all the corresponding edges to it. So let's say we can remove it from A, B, C, and D. So 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, 3. And we don't have to write the vertex F anymore because we have already removed it. Now we're left with C, D, E. Again, I can re repeat the process by removing, let's say I remove D. When I remove D, I have to remove the corresponding edges. So the, D, the edges are actually connecting to C and E. So I remove the D, then 1 minus 1 is 0, and 3 minus 1 is 2. So we left with 3 isolated vertices and a vertex with a loop. So I can just draw 4 vertices Okay, so now I label it A, B, C, and E. A, B, C, and E. And then we have a loop at E. So I just draw a loop here. Okay, we reverse the process by adding back D. D is actually connecting to C and E. So when we add the vertex E back to the graph, we have to add the corresponding edges. 
So we add D here and connect it with C and E. And then we reverse the process again by adding the vertex F. When we add the vertex F, we have to add back our corresponding edges to A, B, C, then D. So we draw F here and we connect to A, B, C, and D. And then keep reversing the process. Now we have to add a loop because we minus 2, that's a loop. So we have to add a loop to vertex F. So we can actually add a loop here. Okay. And then we have to reverse the process for the one last time to get the multiple edges between E and F because we are taking out from E and F. So we just add the multiple edges, the pair of multiple edges to E and F. So this is F. So now we are done with the graph. So if we redraw the graph without the label, so it looks like this. So now we have a loops and multiple edges in the graph. So that completes our graph. So we can check our steps. So this is degree of 1. So we have a 1 here. This is degree of 1. This is degree of 2. This vertex is degree of 3. And this is 5. The loop is 2 and 1, 2, 3. Total is 5, which is E. And the last one is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 here. Now that completes our graph. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give a like. And if you find this video helpful, please share it to your friends. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. See you in the next video.